And at that point, the battery is essentially together. what is up everybody on the youtube world first i want to say i'm sorry i know i haven't been here in in at least two weeks work has been hectic life has been hectic let me get rid of my usb cable my new hair gel doesn't seem to work the same but things are still going great i hope that everyone out there is having just an amazing life i hope that everything for you is going great for me, things have been well. I've just been really busy that I have not had much time to pick up this camera and actually record a vlog. That's That's been my issue. Now, I have like six vlogs that I still have not finished, so that's been another issue. Either way, I hope that you guys are glad to see me back. Maybe a few of you. I'm hoping that I can get these vlogs uploaded and hopefully get in a routine to hopefully upload every other day. But... On to this vlog. Now today I'm showing you how to replace batteries in an APC 1000, 1500, 1100, any of those numbers where it looks like the one that I have in this video can be replaced the same way. What a lot of people don't realize is that you have to actually take that sticker off and get that little middle piece to be able to replace the batteries. So they'll take it apart and they'll be like, oh, this is proprietary, I can't buy this. And they just go out and spend $150 on a brand new battery backup when they could have bought $40 batteries off of Amazon instead of spending $150 on a new one. So here's going to be a voiceover of all the content that I did uh, recording how to take one out. I, of course, did it at my office, so I wasn't able to talk, but check it out. All right, so first thing that you have to do, of course, is remove the battery from the battery backup. It's very easy done by sliding the case off and the battery should just slide right out. Now, I ordered my batteries off of Amazon. You can see the brand there and I'm gonna put a link in the description. Now that we are on to the rest of this, you have to basically remove this sticker here that I'm showing you. So the part in the middle is where the batteries actually plug into the battery backup. So you essentially just lay the battery down and peel your sticker off just like so. Now I will say the stickers are on here pretty tight. This one was a little easier because we've actually replaced the batteries in this battery backup before, but it, it's still, you know, pretty complicated or can be pretty complicated. Flip it over, you got another sticker on the other side. You have to pull that one off. You do wanna pull these off as one sticker and they shouldn't tear because it's a pretty thick plastic. Um, the sticker's made out of a thick plastic, so it shouldn't tear. As you can see, I was able to lift up the batteries and it didn't matter. Once you get the stickers off, set them aside. Now, you have to get this middle bracket from the two old batteries. As you can see, you just have to pull out your positive and your negative cable on each battery. And once that is done, that's gonna release this little bracket. Now, like I said earlier, this is where most people think that they can't replace this battery because when they slid it out, they saw this as one big battery piece and it's actually not. So there's what the bracket looks like. You basically have to take one battery and the bracket goes on one way and then the other battery goes on top of it in the absolute opposite direction. Now I will say these do not clip onto the battery in any way, shape, or form. It literally just kind of sits on there. It's only made for APC batteries, so other batteries don't really fit it as well. They may be a little loose. Either way, you place this right on top. You connect the red to the red. You connect the black to the black. And as you can see, it's, it can be a little difficult to get your hands in there and maneuver around. Now that I have one side of it connected, double check your connectors, lay this little bracket flat, and now you take your second battery and you want to take it and you flip it completely over so that it sits on top just like so. Before you do that, of course, you go ahead and connect your cables again. You're connecting the red to the red and the black to the black. They color coordinated everything, which is always a great thing when it comes to computers. Now that everything is color coordinated and plugged in, you just set the battery right on top and now essentially you have the battery put together as one battery because when you order them from Amazon or anywhere else, they're gonna come separate unless maybe you order it directly from APC. 
So one thing that you do have to do is you have to find where the port is that actually plugs into the battery backup. So there mine is, it's on the left side. So when I put the stickers on, you want to make sure that the stickers actually match the way that they go. So the green one has to go pointing the direction where that, that port is so that when I actually slide it in, I'm doing it all correct. You place your sticker on here just like so. You need to kind of press it together. If you have someone to help you, that will make it a little easier. Once that you've did one side, flip it over, turn it around, do the other side, same exact thing, lay the sticker on, press it together, put as much pressure on it as you can to make sure that the sticker actually holds. And at that point, the battery is essentially together. So you take your battery, you have your port there right at the top, that's there, yep. You flip it over and it should slide directly in to the battery backup, just like so. You'll push it, you should hear like a little click or you'll actually feel it, and then you just slide your top right on to the battery backup. Plug it back into the outlet, and then all you have to do is hit your power button, and there you go. You've replaced the battery in your battery backup. And there you go. That is essentially it. Now, I'm not the best at these voiceover things. I'm, I'm still learning at all of this, hoping to, you know, eventually be good enough and and able to really do this on more of a day-to-day -day basis. But I hope that I was able to give you a very detailed description of exactly how to do this and hopefully by the video you'll be able to see how to do this. Um, as I said at the start, this should work for the APC 1000s, uh, 1300s, 1500s, basically anything that is that slim look like that you saw in my video. You should be able to slide the back off, or well the bottom off, and when you pull the batteries out they should look exactly the same as mine. As I said in the voiceover, I'm not certain if you buy them from APC if they come together. I've only bought mine off of Amazon, they have never came together, I've always had to take the little stickers off and basically just put it together myself, which isn't that bad. If you think about an APC 1500 at Micro Center is about 179 bucks. If you go to Best Buy for an APC 1500 you're probably going to pay 200 bucks. So if your battery backup dies and you have one of these high end ones, it is a lot cheaper to buy $35, $40 worth of batteries from Amazon and take the 15 minutes to uh, do what we just did in this video. But some people just don't care and they'll just throw $200 away and go buy another one. Either way, I hope that this video helped someone out. I know that it had to. There had to be somebody out there who's going to Google this and find my video. If so, give it a thumbs up for me. And also, if you can for me, hit the subscribe button. I lost two subscribers during the past two weeks. That's not that bad. But I'm still trying to get to 100. I still want to get to 100,000. None of my goals have changed. Uh, everything about me is still the same. I've just been way too busy to be on, to be vlogging and be editing. It's just, ugh. Trust me though, it's been killing me. I've really wanted to upload. Um, and and I, I like uploading. I like putting these videos up and seeing the statistics and seeing what people say and being able to help people. It's really just fun. I have a lot of fun recording. Family has a lot of fun recording. Um, we just really enjoy it. So. I'm here running a uh, Dentrix update at an office. Um, hopefully you'll enjoy this vlog. Like I said, if you can, give me a like, give me a subscribe so that I can get to 100 and then to 100,000. And I will see all of you tomorrow. Deuces.